Hi, my name is Dana Liebelson. I'm a reporter with Mother Jones Magazine, and today I'm going to tell you about a major security problem in the sites Shutterfly and eTeams. This video also features TeamSnap, which, after being contacted for this article on May 2nd, went ahead and fixed the security problem on most of the site. Now, a lot of sites have this kind of security problem, but there's particular concern when it's sites that are uploading sensitive information about kids. These sites offer free services for parents and coaches to upload personal information about children, including photos, email addresses, phone numbers, home addresses, school names, gender, and even the weekly game schedules. Despite the fact that these sites boast millions of users, none of them adequately use what is called SSL encryption, a commonly used protocol that helps protect these sites from being easily hacked into. As you'll see in this demonstration, with an open Wi-Fi network, the right computer model, and a program called Cookie Cadger, it's possible for a malicious user to hack into one of these sites in just a few keystrokes. Now, we set up entirely fake accounts for this demonstration, so you're not going to be seeing any real children's information used in this demo. Here is the computer screen for our hypothetical victim, a parent who is sitting in a coffee shop on an open Wi-Fi network and clicking through accounts on Shutterfly and TeamSnap. As you can see, these sites allow you to store all kinds of information about a child's sports team, so you'd know information like where a child lives, what his or her jersey number is, and where that child is going to be at a certain time. So now we're looking at the computer screen of a hacker, who is sitting in the same coffee shop as the parent using the same Wi-Fi network. You can see here that the hacker has opened a program called Cookie Cadger, where with the click of a couple buttons, he or she is able to see what accounts our victim is logged into. Prior to May 2nd, our hacker, with the correct computer and program download, was able to instantly hijack TeamSnap's site. After May 2nd, when TeamSnap quickly encrypted many of the pages on the site, it's no longer possible to access these pages unless a hacker enters through an unencrypted page. Now, if you go back to Cookie Cadger, you can see that the victim also has a Shutterfly account open. With a click of a button, it's possible to instantly hijack this site, too. Now you'll see that the hacker got booted off for a second. This is where a little technical know-how is needed to get into the account. Still, in less than 30 seconds, the hacker is back on the site and able to view a variety of personal information. It's equally simple to hack into eTeams, which includes additional information like the child's height and weight. Even though it's more expensive for these sites to use SSL encryption because the cost depends on the size of the site, Google reportedly switched to full SSL encryption at an added cost of less than 2% and TeamSnap was able to mostly switch over in just one day. Without such encryption, it doesn't take a lot of effort to hack into a site for potentially malicious purposes. Other major social media networks, such as Facebook and Twitter, already defend against these kinds of intrusions, as do banks. So you have to wonder, why aren't companies doing more to protect kids' information? 